How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're going to look at five keys that are heating up. What do I mean by heating up? I mean that they're going up in price, that there's a slight uptick. Some of these have fallen a ton from the big comic boom, but now some of them have started to come back up. So maybe they've reached the bottom or maybe this is the peak for them and they're going to start falling. So let's look at the five keys that are heating up. All right. First on the list, we got NYX number three. A 9.4 is up 4% from 747 to 775 on average. A 9.6 averaged 880 last month to now averages 9.10, up 3%. And a 9.8 is up 10% from 1824 to $2,000. You can look at that graph and you can kind of see it just slowly and steadily going up. So I'm actually kind of surprised on this book. This, as you can see in the graph, it just got a huge jump up from the comic boom. And most of the time, it just kind of went down. But this one just steadily started keep on going up. Like from the comic boom, it just, yeah, just slowly went up. It obviously didn't get a huge jump month after month, got that huge leap, and then it's just kind of then steadily going up. So yeah, this is one of those modern books that, you know, they didn't have the highest of print runs, but it's, you know, the first appearance of X-23, which, you know, she's been as Wolverine multiple times, even considered the one and only Wolverine for a while until, you know, Logan died and, you know, all this kind of stuff, you know, no one's dead forever. No one stays gone forever. But yeah, so that's kind of like what's happening to this book. I'm, yeah, I'm just in surprise that it's this hasn't dropped at all. Could this mean that it's going to drop at one point? I don't know. Next, we got Marvel Spotlight number two. This is the first appearance of World by Night. A 6.0 is up 27% from 471 to 600. A 6.5 is up 28% from 618 to averaging 780 this month. And then an 8.5 is up 15% from 1131 to 1301. If you look at the graph, you can see that comic boom dropping and then coming back up. This is more what it should look like with the huge comic boom come right back down, now spiking back up again. There's obviously a lot of news with Werewolf by Night possibly showing up in this like Marvel Halloween special that's supposed to be coming out on Disney Plus. Once again, kind of confirmed, not really confirmed type of stuff. It's kind of rumored, um, but I think there's a good chance that he's going to appear in there. That is what is spiking this book. Next, we got Red Sonja number one, a 9.2 average in January, $68. Now it's currently averaging 113. That's up 67%. A 9.6 just up 1%. And a 9.8 up 12% from 393. Now currently averaging 442. You can look, you can see on the graph the huge comp boom back down and then coming back up again. So this book is, you know, same with like Conan 23 and 24. That's her first appearance, but this is her first solo book of Red Sonja. Here's the thing. There was rumors and speculation of a Red Sonja movie adaptation appearance, blah. But that has been scrapped recently, I think within the last couple of weeks. So now there's no movement on whatever is gonna happen with Red Sonja. So I imagine that this book will start dropping. Now our, is, I would imagine that Conan 23 and 24 will probably see a slight decrease, but I don't, it's still her first appearance. She's a pretty big key character. So I don't see it, you know, just completely falling off the cliff. Man, that's Red Sonja one, I kinda do. All right, next we got Scooby-Doo number one. This is the gold key comics. A 5.0 in June, so a while ago, that was the last sale, it was 818. A recent sale was 1800, that is up 120%. A 6.5 is up 62% from 1130 to 1827. And a 7.5 just up 9% from 2640 back in November was last sale to 2880. You can see the graph, and it's been a steady up Klein. So yeah, I mean, this is Scooby-Doo number one. This is the first appearance of him in comic form, things like that. It's a gold key. It's a little more scarce of a book than your average book around this same time period. And this book is, they only made one, I believe, of the gold key. And then it started a series again, like, I don't know, like four or five years later. Again, they started uh, up with Scooby-Doo again. But they only made one of this, I believe, and it's it's pretty desired of a comic book, to be honest. So I'm that's why it's going up because they're 
it's really kind of kind of scarce all right next we got fantastic 450 this is the galactus silver surfer trilogy this is the third one you got a 60 selling for 800 dollars for every now selling for 827 only up four percent a 70 from 840 now averaging 1109 up 32 percent and a 92 is up 125 percent because back in June was the last sale of a 9.2, and that was during the comic boom, and that was 5,066. One recently sold for 11,400. So yes, this book is getting hot. I made a bold prediction that we're gonna see some kind of Silver Surfer Galactus, something happening within a year's time, so 12 months. So I'm pretty bullish on the Silver Surfer coming into the MCU. Yeah, we know Phantom Four is coming, you know, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna do uh, a Doctor Doom, obviously they got to get him right, and then they're going to do Silver Surfer, Galactus, I think Galactus will probably be like the big bad guy of the MCU, kind of like Thanos, that they'll have to fight, so you're going to need Silver Surfer in there, you know, it goes hand in hand. All right, last one on my list, but before I do, if you haven't subscribed already, please think about subscribing, helps out the channel, and today is my birthday, I'm about to go out, so cheers. Um, but this will be an update of one I've done previously, so let's see if it's still dropping. Let's see what's going on. All right, we got All-Star Comics 58, first appearance of Power Girl. A 9.2 went from 335 on average in February to now currently averaging 350, so that is up 4%. A 9.4 is down 17% from 431 to now averaging 355, but a 9.6 is up 16% from 649 to 750. I still think this is a good book, regardless. First appearance of Power Girl. There hasn't really been any news of Power Girl showing up in anything or anything like that, but still a good key to have. I hope you guys have a great weekend. 